Okay, so... So, uh, welcome back to Podsula. Episode 7, I believe, which means... Uh, today, we, we're uh, only us three, because... I killed our guest. Yeah, they, they died in a tragic car accident. So, it's just... No, the, 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 I'm pretty sure it's in a, in, in a uh, tragic uh, horse riding accident. Oh, I actually you're so had a right, car accident actually. the other day. Damn. What was that? <laughs> so, uh... So... Anyway, uh, episode, episode 7, which means Serakian in DPP. By episode episode 9, y'all gotta stay tuned in for that, because we're gonna talk about the extremely unexpected Terrakian in black and white OU. So, Whoa. stay tuned for that. <laughs> uh, anyway, Terrakian so. in DPP. Uh, the, our favorite topic on these is, is um, the, the lead meta game in DPP, so that shouldn't be... Yeah, Terrakian gets stealth rocks, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of yeah. course he gets stealth rocks. Uh, yeah. it, it can always just slap on a a focus sash. Uh, Eric's scarf could be this, of course, up, outside the lead slot, mostly. But like even in the lead slot, scarf rocks could potentially be niche. I don't know. Okay, but like we're talking about the wrong meta game. What about the Uber's lead meta game? Doesn't it, it like completely yeah. mess up Darkrai? Uh, it's it double kicks Darkrai. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does that even kill? Hold on. Probably. You you talk while I talk. Okay. Yeah, yippee. I'm guessing you're talking now. Yeah, I'm yeah, talking the, the, now. The, 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 you're you're, su you're supposed to talk while I talk. So. It's supposed to um, run either Scar so it doesn't get slept by Darkrai. It's kind of destroyed by uh, Psychic Move. Deoxys. Um, Deoxys doesn't always run psychic moves, though, does it? Yeah, it's it runs sh shadow balls. It's a common attack. Um, really? Adamant Terrakion with double kick deals a maximum amount of ninety nine point six percent to 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 Darkrai, which is one no. one hit point away from killing. That's tragic. Wait, it gets quick attack. Just run lumber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can literally just run. Like, you know, it gets these huge like, gems. That that's point, actually huge. At that point, wouldn't you be better off just using close combat if yeah, um, you, you, double kick isn't killing? Exactly. You yeah, run close right. combat, uh, quick attack. Because it gets close combat. This gen, that's, like that's like uh, going from ADV to DPP. Now yeah, it gets close it does combat. Yeah, it's after a lot on superpower. Does it have also, uh, Stone Edge yet? I think so. Yeah, it Stone does, Edge yes. is a. Yeah, Stone it's, Edge it's is a, a DP move. <laughs> PP. <laughs> um, so, um, what else? What, what else? It does get messed up by superpower Deoxys. Uh, I don't think that that's ever gonna kill. Like Terrakin is quite bulky. See, I never paid attention to the bulk. I always just look at its attack. And yeah, speed. it's ninety, eighty, eighty-five. That's actually quite good. Uh, no, hold on. I'm looking at my champ. Don't mind me, because <laughs> I wasn't like I, I wasn't the calc. <laughs> my champ and DPP Ubers. Let's go. Yo. Uh, it's ninety one, ninety ninety. So it's actually better. God damn it. Uh, what what else? So, uh, so you it, said you 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 can run rocks, right? Stealth rock. Um. Stone it has justified, so it can that's get an attack one. boost if it's smacked you by a dark taunt. by dark hole. Oh yeah, that's right. You can yeah, but like that's not as good in the in the lead meta game, right? Because you're never gonna just yeah, yeah it's not as holes. good in the lead meta you game because it's gonna you, be clicking but like, dark void. You can use that in in the mid game though. That's really scary wall breaker. Wait, wait. How much speed does Az does um Azelf have? One fifteen. Ah, uh, Dracon's not outspeeding then. Yeah, no, not even close. Dragon is actually yeah, quite. Is like Dragon really speed tier is actually quite underwhelming by DPP standards. DPP lead metagame standards. It's not underwhelming in general because in in DPP, if you run base one hundred, you're already like quite fast. The yeah. in, in the lead metagame, one hundred eight is not exactly impressive. Because yeah, you get outsped by Azel. Dark every every uh, stuff ever. Uh, Aerodactyl is a commonly for Azel. Yeah, you're a spec, like, it, 
Gengar as well if you wanna run in the mid game. It's not it's not an amazing speed tier. It can it, it works though. Gengar uh, it is it's worth running uh it's faster Gengar than Gengar is running life more less often now. Yeah. It's faster That's than fair. Starmie, right? No, no Starmie, Starmie is one fifteen as well. I think. Ah, uh, goddammit. But yep, yeah. Um... Uh, well, it can run. Um, it, one thing that's good is that it's faster than uh, Flygon. So Scarf Terrakion might actually be a good answer to Scarf Flygon. That is. Wait, if... was Flygon actually good back then? Flygon yes, is Flygon's an one of the best. Scarfer. Yeah, it's one of the best well, in the tier. However, uh, I don't think it can really threaten. I don't think Terrakion can really threaten Flygon uh, until, like, having significantly chipped it otherwise. Yeah. Cause... You have to keep in mind, uh, oh, one thing to note is that Terrakion gets a special defense boot. From... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that's that. true. So it's actually really specially bulky, though. I don't see it coming in... I mean, I see it coming in play in, like, the Starmie matchup, but it can't exactly hit Starmie that hard. Otherwise, it doesn't really want to switch into Gengar or Rotom because of Wisp. Yeah. Well, does Starmie really want to take like a Stone Edge on switching? Well, no, but you're that, that's only one situation. It's not like uh, thanks to Santorak and suddenly has a good matchup into Starmie. I don't think uh, I don't think Psychic occurred before either way. I think it's still two chaos after Sand. You gotta keep in mind, Starmie Hydro Pump hits like really hard. Yeah, but like only That's 80% of the time. <laughs> well, it, it depends. Do or, do they or do they not have um, Rain Dance Electrode? <laughs> Rain Dance is actually a legit strategy in the tier, but like you may, like what you do is that you run uh, Culberberry Rotom Watch so it is, so like it isn't instantly mauled by Tyranitar and you can run Rain Dance Hydro Pump to uh like bait and beat car so that keeps sand off for good and it really set up Rain Dance to support things like Kingdra and Suicune. Yeah, but that's definitely not something Terrakion cares about, I think. <laughs> I'm trying uh... to push the Rain Dance meta. It's like what I'm mainly <laughs> laddering. So Terrakion gets stomped, which is actually a decent stall break. It makes it a decent stall break. So, uh, source this? Yeah, source this. Source what stomped. Stormons are there in that tier? There's Heatran, there's Blissey, there's um, Clefable. Yeah, they're all weak to CC anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's, so Tarn is really uh, not that much of a stall break. There's Jirachi, I suppose. You're faster than that. Yeah, eh. yeah Jirachi can run really defensive sets. Yeah, but I think uh, Terrakion would probably be uh, Scarfer most. Uh, that, that would probably be the, mo the most popular set. It outruns plus one Gyarados. It outruns uh, Scarf uh, Flygon. Uh, plus one Tita. Yeah, plus one um, Dragonite. You know what else outruns? You know who it. <laughs> you know who else? Scarf Magneton. Oh my god. You know yeah, but, who uh, else but only Scarf if Magneton. Oh. I guess your muscle man is so good. <laughs> you know who else's voice is so good? Do, 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 the, <laughs> do the Mr. Krabs one. Spend your boy, me, Bob. Reuniclus is getting suspect tested and overused. <laughs> yeah, uh. I don't see Terrakin having that many good matchups in general, but like Scarf Terrakin. I could just be... made like the perfect uh, like segue, and you just ignored it. Yes, oh, yeah, because we're right. not finished talking about Terrakin. We're gonna use the segue <laughs> later and act like we didn't use it before. Okay, so uh, it, it's uh, I see using Scarf because with Scarf it's actually uh, really uh, threatening to offense. Right, you see. Uh, it outruns Scarf, Flygon, it outruns plus one D-Knight, plus one uh, Gyarados, threatens them all. It outruns uh, Scarf Lucario as well. That's a, uh, Scar well, Scarf Lucario used to be, it, it also doesn't care about SD Lucario's uh, extreme speed like at all. 
it's not around it, it doesn't outrun uh scarf Larias, which could be a problem. I don't think Larias switches into it that well though. Sonish probably hits hard. Yeah. So uh the um Sandstorm special defense boost it's like it could probably take a Larias stir that isn't spec. Yeah, one hit. It takes one hit. So yeah, uh it's it, it it should be like quite good in in into offense, but honestly, I don't see it being extremely remarkable. Fair enough. See, I thought this would have been the generation that makes Thrakion really good because of the whole lead meta game thing. Yeah, but like there's our Aerodactyl already, which is kind of just Thrakion but better in the lead meta game. I see. Yeah, Aerodactyl got like a third usage last year. So anyway, uh, see buddy, could you do the Krusty Krab voice that you totally didn't do just a second ago? <laughs> <laughs> you boy, me, Bob. It looks like Reuniclus is getting suspect tested in black and white overuse. <laughs> no way, I, I definitely didn't know about that. Uh, let's take a look at that. <laughs> oh boy, I didn't know Reuniclus was broken or anything. Uh, I genuinely didn't know, actually, because I don't know very I, much I didn't all. know either. The, 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 what okay, is it? Okay, like, uh, okay, Magic God Life Orb? It's, I it's knew, really bulky. I knew it was really good. I didn't think it would be next up on the chopping block. I didn't think that at all. I thought Latius would go next. It's, um, it's really, uh, it's really broken. It's really bulky. It does, like, it ignores all passive damage. It can, it can set up Calm Mind. It's, like, the Trick Room user. Uh, it beats Tyranitar with Focus Blast, I guess. So like, it's a really time. good... Like, honestly, it's, Reuniclus is really good, but I never, ever considered it broken. Yeah, it Black would be... Black and white OU. It would be interesting to it, see It was the, like Psy Spam. Oh, carry on. It would be interesting to see the reasoning behind uh, the suspect test, because they do see the reasoning in the announcement threads. Let me go drop that. Yeah, the, while you go look at that, Silver, um, Black and White OU, that was like, uh, because of all the fighting types, it was just like Psy Spam before we had Expanding Force. Yeah, there was, uh, there were Psy Spam teams that made use of things like Alakazam, Badios, Reuniclus. Alakazam and, uh, and Reuniclus are really good in particular because they ignore hazard damage. And so by running those two, you, uh, you have less of a need to clear hazards. And another thing, Latios is immune to spikes. Uh, so you can just, I mean, yeah, you still take rocks damage, but you uh, just ignore uh, spikes. But Didn't yes, they I, also use, like, Kadabra and Eviolite Duosion? Oh, yeah. Kadabra and Eviolite Duosion have seen play. Even uh, even McMegan used Eviolite Duosion on one occasion, and they even have... Uh, like, there's a, a Smogon thread of, like, underrated sets, and McMegan posted Duotion there. And McMegan's, <laughs> like, one of the best players to ever grace Smogon, so, like, yeah. But what a lot of people might not know is that Duotion and Reuniclus have the same special attacks, though. Oh, yeah, it's really funny. Yeah, it is funny. Also, is it Reuniclus or Reuniclus? The first one, the, the, the former. I don't think I ever, I've ever heard anyone refer to it as Reuniclus. I used to call it Reuniclus, but then I started calling it Reuniclus, and then I realized, wait, this name's so much better. <laughs> we need a, like a smoke on. We need like a Pokemon pronunciation episode. Guys, it's pronounced Heatran, not Heatran. Okay, so um, according to the the suspect thread. The Reuniclus is like, okay, so nothing, uh, there was a, a, a tiering survey, and nothing exceeded even majority on support for um, for a suspect, except Reuniclus, which had a, over 80% community approval, which is it's like, it's the Jesus. only thing that passed 50%, and by a large margin. Uh, Dang, so we need, maybe we should have had a black and white player in here. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so like the five people who still play black and white OU, they want Reuniclus gone. Oh, yeah. it's, not, it's not just five people. Four black and white OU people. actually has a pretty big community. 
And black and uh, white is actually like one of the most active communities in terms of making changes to the tier. Like true. we Volk, like Volcarona got suspected, but it didn't get banned. Cloyster got suspected, and it did get banned. Thank God. Cluster is why Cluster did Cluster get banned? Like, I'm actually curious. Yeah, um, uh, because shell, shell smash. smash a shell smash skill link, nothing beats it. Yeah, was it that just, broken? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's extremely that broken. powerful. Uh, so, Reuniverse huh. is uh, immune to all passive damage because of uh, magic card, of course, which means you can't wear it down whatsoever, not even with, with, with uh, even status just doesn't phase it except paralysis, but like, it's already slow, so it it, <clears throat> it, it doesn't care that much about paralysis. It's, the 20% chance of not moving is nasty, but in theory, it's still like a pretty good um, status absorber. Uh, it's extremely oppressive alongside spikes, because they're it just things that would narrowly survive. It says like Titar, just get put into range. Uh, it's got a lot of sets like Call Mine, Trick Room, uh, Assault Vest. I think I, I saw that once or twice. See, the real ones will run Choice Band. True. Oh yeah, Pokemon has a video on that. Uh, you can. What? It, it's got. <laughs> it, it's extremely easy to wear down its checks with um. With with offensive uh, overload like with uh Thunder Wave Latios, and and yeah, that's about it. I mean, something I guess... I, I like running is Flame or Trick Reuniclus, which is like really good at like catching things like Tyranitar on the Switch. It's basically just what Sigilyph does, but funnier. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, Flame Orb, uh, Psycho Shift, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. So, yeah. Uh, it it would have been a cool uh, topic of discussion, uh, the, the suspect, as if we actually had someone who knew something about Black and White OU. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, pl I play, like, literally every gen except Black and White. <laughs> Yeah, long, we have the, 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 we had trouble coming up with uh with topics for this episode, but um there was like so the, there was like something that you two had that the, the, was like we needed to get the video done today. Yes. For. So uh the funny thing, me and uh, uh, Silver and I are in two different uh, draft leagues, and both of them in both of them we are playing this week. Yeah, Are so you we're fighting just, each other. Yeah, yeah we're fighting after, each other. After today's episode, oh, right God, after we record. So uh, this is this is actually this is actually the silver shit talking episode for everyone who who, who is interested. I'm probably gonna lose one of them. At least the domino draft. I'm probably gonna lose that one. Oh no no no! I, I I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh, I I have I haven't even built for domino yet. Oh I me just, too. I haven't I haven't I built either. I have. I genuinely don't I have care like, about Domino. Oh, me too. I just I don't like my team. I'm I'm sitting here with like five mons and builder. I have one of the uh, spoiler alert. One of them is uh Stuntus Galar because I didn't know if I had to use it yet. How many matchups I had left? So I asked Spydots if I had to use it yet. So. <laughs> oh yeah. Speaking of episodes. Uh, this is just a message to everyone who watched the last episode. I appreciate all the input saying that I would be good at commentating, because all, cause like, all the people who said that, uh, because of all that, I got invited to, um, to be a caster for, um, you know how the US has the, um, NPA, the team tar? I don't, yeah. actually, but you go off. <laughs> yeah, well, um, there's a UK version called UKIT. And because of because of all of that, I was invited to be a caster for that. Oh, that's awesome! So I'm going into commentating. So that's fun. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's really cool. Uh, back to the league. So, yeah. Wait, the, you have the, both the... Mimikyu and Tauros, uh, Tauros Aqua in both leagues. <laughs> do, do really? Hold on, I didn't notice that. Yeah, you have both Mimikyu and Taurus Aqua. Oh, I love Bone Mimikyu. League. I love Mimikyu. Taurus just ends up being something that kind of fills some specific goals, and I kind of just like grabbing that. Taurus has yeah, been like so in, in in okay. So the, 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 I'm gonna explain the leagues real quick. The first one is hosted by Spidops, 
uh, we, we can flash like a picture of his Twitter account on the on the screen. I doubt anyone doesn't know him, but still, um, it, it's uh, Domino Draft. Don't do that; it'll be funny. <laughs> Uh, it's called Domino Draft League, and basically the way the, the gimmick is, uh, each draft, uh, each uh, each person was assigned a type at the start, and each draft you gotta uh, draft something with the primary type you have, and the, its secondary type will determine the the primary type of your next draft. Uh, now this sounds in very interesting, right? It's not. It's it's straight up on fun. You end up with mm -hmm. such a, you end up with such a shitty team. I I, oh, I legitimately hate my team. So I, I oh I, just... I hate my team too. I'm stuck with uh uh I hate the way the doc works. I'm stuck with um with Stunfist, Galar, and Bombardier. Like the way way it works is that like if you draft any kind of flying type, you better pray uh you're not stuck with picking Noibat or Rookity. Dude, I have my. Like, fun. I I drafted Mimikyu and I was locked into Fairy from then on. I have Mimikyu, then Slarpuff, then Katoff because then Katoff was taken, and then Klefki. <laughs> I have like two good mods, that being Megalopony and uh Re Terra Steel Regi Drago. And and, and I, the rest is just. Regi Drago was like really good. Regi Drago oh yeah, good, if you like, uh. Uh, you're yeah. allowed to uh, assign a terra type to uh, a prime, like a single type mon, uh, and have that terra type act as its secondary type in drafting. <clears throat> yeah, uh, am I even I, allowed I just, to? I, I, am I even allowed to mention the mon I have as my terra? <laughs> uh, am hold I even on, allowed let me, to let me check that. Oh, I saw uh, you two interacting on Twitter about this. Didn't Finchinator say something about how um, N's the only one who can beat him or something? Okay, so, context. The the, the thing is, uh, like, last week, he said in, in the in the Draft League uh, Discord server that I beat him a couple of times in the in the OU ladder. I didn't know that because he uses uh, a secret alt to test teams for a tournament. So I didn't know <clears throat> Who, who he was so as far as i know uh he could be lying he i don't know how many times i won i don't know what teams i usually won and like i i'm pretty sure i've also uh lost a couple of times in this way but basically uh, what is is that uh oh yeah you beat me a couple of times you're a good player and that's and th that's where the thing that oh only he can beat him comes from not because my team is good, because my team is like, uh, there's 18 teams, I'm probably like around the 10th spot. So it, it, mine, is, mine is not a good team, I think only, he only referred to player skill, but realistically speaking, I get demolished by Finch. <laughs> because I, I have nothing to, to counter Garchomp, and he has Garchomp. I, I lost to Finch because I just didn't want to bring Gengar because I don't like that much. <laughs> I don't like Gengar. I want my Stalkor back. <laughs> oh yeah, this guy. Uh, Silver joined like the, in, in the last uh, in the last few months. He joined like five draft leagues, and in each and every one of them, except mine, he drafted Stall. And the only reason he didn't draft Stall is in mine uh, tag team draft league is because of its gimmick which forces you to pair up with someone and that other someone is gonna have to use uh, the same team you share in doubles so the only reason he didn't draft stall is because he would have forced his doubles partner to use stall <laughs> i mean like my team in uh in the domino draft it's like not full stall because i have things like gangar yeah, I mean, it's hard, to, it's hard to, to, to just, uh, in a format like that, where you basically don't, you have a very limited pool of mods to draft from, because of its gimmick, every round, it's really hard to just get all, all the mods. After I drafted Skarmory, I was locked into getting Bombardier or Joyback. Otherwise you just stay stuck. Bombardier is pretty funny. Otherwise you just stay stuck there. We, there, the, um... One one thing that's very funny is that there were so few mono flying type, uh, not mono flying, so few primary flying types that 
uh, there we the, we made a clause that if every flying type if if every primary flying type was gone and you were uh, to to draft a secondary flying type you were allowed to draft an infinite amount of uh, rookies until the end of the draft <laughs> the rookie clause <laughs> Nobody did that, of course, obviously, but it'd be really funny. It would have been really funny. Uh, so uh, talking about uh, and like in this draft, I I just do not care about it, dude. I, I my I, team is so bad. I I'm only trying against Finch and Spidops. I, I I joined because I wanted to get around the Spidops. I had beef with them, so I joined just to beat him, and, and I did get ratio. Uh, I joined because Spidops <laughs> added me to the draft without my consent. <laughs> Uh, like, so DM'd, why? Like months before the draft started, he DM'd me like, "Hey, you're joining my league." <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then, uh, when I was in, I saw uh, Finch joining, and at that point, oh, fuck this! I want to beat Finch, so I'm only trying against Finch <laughs> and uh, and Spider Ops. I I do not, I do not care about every other matchup. For all I care, I can lose all of them. I could. Uh, th there's a couple of matchups I basically had and I completely threw. Uh, honestly, I, I don't care. I had it but... versus Finch and I threw. I just don't care about this. <laughs> yeah, it's it's <laughs> when when you when you're in a draft and you end up with a team you don't like, it's just painful to be in it. Like you just want it to be over with. Yeah. However, like I'm in two about... other I'm in two yeah, other leagues right now with teams I'm fine with, like the. The tag team team I have, like I, I actually think it's pretty cool. And oh my LDL team, oh my god, I love that thing. Oh yeah, because it's full style. That's why you love it. <laughs> I have Barrow Hex Bliss. Like oh. So talking about the other league we're playing in, and I, I'm hosting this one, Tracked in Draft League. I explained it before. You you pair up with someone, you share a team, and someone plays single, the other plays doubles. You're actually allowed to be like a call while you play. So technically, the <clears throat> the, the division like oh, I play singles, you play doubles. It's only like it, it doesn't really matter, but it, it, that's how it ends up. Like that's how. But you have to up, use uh, the same team for both, right? Yes. Uh, so okay. the same team as in the ones you drafted, you are allowed to not to not use the same the same uh, team of six every team uh, okay. every week. Uh, so the team I have is like Iron Bundle Spectre. The, the, my, my team is like actually quite uh, offensive, unusually offensive for teams I build. I usually I usually go for like balance, not stall because I don't like stall. I I, I still want methods to actually make progress. But uh, the, I ended up with a really um, offensive team. My team, uh, like uh, this, this one, I I don't love it. I don't think it's an amazing team, but it's my league, so I wanted to to win if one. Then that's one thing, and, and the other is <clears throat> we're like uh, I didn't expect to this well but we're currently the only team undefeated so at that point oh okay, that's I don't want pretty to win cool. this uh however the uh, I, i'm i'm against silver this week right and uh i yeah. wanna uh, as much as i wanna say that uh this is easy uh, this is this is really hell as hell and i'm gonna win and you're bad and all that sh the, nah, dude, I'd win. The, 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 this team this team is actually so hard to build like it doesn't I look I have Shigen Pao yeah he has Shigen Pao and I have Taurus but they are aqua right so, I get Saki Fangs I have Shigen Pao I have Hisui and Arcanine I have uh, Milotic I have Sylveon. I think Sylveon is the best thing on my team. I have Scizor, yeah, I have Mian Sylveon is really good. Sylveon, you I managed have, to put uh, Terra on that, and Terra plus Sylveon is just so threatening. I have uh, Hisui and Electrode, I have uh, Vivian, I have Grafii, I have Palusan. One thing that... I like uh, Sweat. 
one thing that caught me off guard is that you didn't put Terra on his final leg shred. It would have been extremely threatening to like the whole of this league, uh, of this, yeah, the whole of this league. If you put Terra, we were down, thinking we about it, but we wanted to Terra the butterfly because we thought it needed it more. I mean that's fair, especially since in, uh, it's much better in doubles, right? Because it gets rage powder, it gets yeah, powder. because it has, it has friend guard. Yeah. It's yeah, like I suppose it's good. It's, I, I, it's I, like budget honestly, for Harry. If you if you tear if you tear electrode instead of Vivian, I would be done. I would have nothing I could do against you. Yeah, Vivian used to see usage. Um, it it, it could run compound ice. It could run friend guard. Um, you know the usual sleep powder. It 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 did run tailwind. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, and did you see that one game I had with uh, Vivian for like? Yeah, where I your did. opponent was like, "Oh, Terra this, Terra that," all the time, right? Yeah, and then after the game, uh, uh, here is some uh competitive Pokemon advice from Silver. Um, don't be a. <laughs> <laughs> that's good advice if you ask me that that's clearly a seasoned player right there like even if you, even if you lose don't go off and chat saying oh you only lost because i only lost because of terra uh you have no skill this was a skillless win yeah i mean is this that... is draft you knew they could terra you had all the time to prepare for that they could have light screen with Plefki there instead of thunder waving on the obvious character. Yeah, I mean they they that like they knew you you had that option, so I don't I don't see why they're like oh, th th this was a. And they sacked a no. bunch of mons before going into Latias. Yeah, they they had a mon that lived that too. They sacked a bunch of mons because before going into um, uh, Komala. Too, which you couldn't sleep. Like the, the Kamala was an actually good counter. You couldn't put it to sleep because of Comatose. It lived one hit always. It hits our. Uh, it, it hits really hard. So BB is put on the physical side too, which means you can't uh, just boost until you live with. They had an actual counter and they just decided not to go to it. <laughs> Kamala's funny because like, didn't it just used to run like um. Last resort, sleep powder. No, sleep powder. Sleep powder. <laughs> hello. No, 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 not sleep powder. Sleep talk. Yeah, sleep yeah. Talk. Last resort, uh, sleep it, talk. It, it was uh, an extremely gimmicky set. I think they yeah, talked it, you about just get it on Balls Web Gaming, and and even there, they one one thing that's really funny about Balls Web Gaming is that they will spend like. 10 minutes talking about this one set and then say, oh, but this is actually a really gimmicky set and this is what you actually run. <laughs> like, There's nothing more disheartening than watching a full swipe gaming video for your favorite Pokemon and the first thing you hear is, unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> I am so happy that, like, my two favorite Pokemon are Scizor and Fisher. See, I'm lucky that my favorite Pokemon was, for, well, one of my favorites was incredibly stupid in its debut generation of OU because of, um, it was Baton Pass for Giraffe Rig, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yes. Baton Pass. Uh, and it's then bad, it's... Giraffe, it's not good in singles, but I'll be damned, it's incredible in doubles, it's better than King Gambit. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's Giraffe Rig didn't it is like, on... Did you find Jeff, like, start off not really that popular, and then in, like, Reg D, it, it just became top 12 yeah, and regulation d because of michael kelsch getting second at worlds of it people realized oh wait this thing is really really good because that was when champ out dragonite was a thing um and you know priority was everywhere there was aqua jet from Ashifu, sucker punch from champ out extreme speed from dragonite and people had had enough there was also the peak of um cresselia ursa luna so uh people ran in uh, trick room in prison for that now i'm built different I was preaching that thing since day one, and it got top four at the very first regional, and then everyone forgot about it, until now. No, good for you, I suppose. My favorite mod is Zoroark, and that thing is not escaping BL hell, so... That thing, wait, wait, Hisui and Zoroark, that got top, that, that made day two at a regional before. Yeah, once. It was a Swords Dance Poltergeist set. Which is weird, like, you Contrarian see, mods. One, one thing that's cool is that, uh, you see some mods go special instead of physical, even if physical is the higher attacking side in singles, specifically OU, because it's like, 
there, there's so much there's so much more physical bulk you know you that special just gives you um better value even if the even if the attack side is lower if the general damage output is lower uh, and, yeah, and like then special like, landorus right yeah and then uh, apparently there's the opposite in 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 doubles if you say this to me well <laughs> yeah that this is our like but it, it, there is similar stuff like that um in doubles when people still ran salamence in regulation e it ran a special set it run it ran special when it was used in OU too. It it always it, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it I ran thought, special. I, I thought it usually ran Dragon Dance. Uh, in like the first two generation, it was it, it was available, and then it got Draco Meteor and Hurricane, and it, it almost always ran special until it got Mega Salamence. But Mega Salamence is a different mod, so Mega Salamence uh, ran a mixed. It was double edge Hyper Voice. Really, they do that. In in VGC, it just runs Dragon Dance in singles. Yeah. It's insane. It, it's like yeah, it, like it's... It, it literally only needs three moves, meaning that you can just slap anything you want on the last slot, and you'll probably be fine. Yeah, you only yeah, it was... you only need like it was uh, DD okay, yeah. return or frustration or or double edge one of the one of these three and earthquake. The last move can be whatever you want. So it's it's like it's... yeah. You, uh, like you could put, you could go with three moves, literally nothing in the last slot. It would still be broken. But the, oh, the yeah, fact that it, it can was... also the fact that it can also run Dragon Stab for like the mirror matchup, it can run um, Roost. Roost is nasty because it, it's it's all like it's powerful. It, it's extremely powerful. It's extremely fast, and for some reason, it's also extremely hard to take down. The, this one is See, like for no us weakness. that move was Tailwind. That makes sense. Yeah, it was Double Edge, Hyper Voice, Tailwind, and I think Protect. And you didn't need Draco Meteor for the mirror matches, because you already had a matchup for the- you already had a Pokemon for the mirror match in Xerneas. Uh-huh. Well, that was well, part what of if, the what, big what, six combo. What do you do again? Oh, yeah, uh... In 20- yeah, 2016, it's like Xerneas, Growlpedon, uh... Salamence. Salamence, Kangaskhan, Talon, Flame, yeah. Smeagol. Oh, yeah. yeah. Speaking yeah, of because BBC, Smeagol could use Dark Void. That recently. was nasty. And Moody could, uh, could boost evasion back then. Yeah. I've been playing VGC recently to get a better idea of what's going on, and I'm not even using like, a good... <laughs> <laughs> the, I'm, time I'm I, only, the times I, I've I only run, been uh... using Reshiram. <laughs> I tried Reshiram like, I just, once. It's I just not think good, that but it's flame... fun. I just think that Flame Plate boosted Terra Fire Blue Flare is funny. It really is. See, I was running Assault Vest. The times I run, the times I, the, the few times I play you just see, I run Eternatus. I love that mod. It's yeah. not good, but it's <clears throat> I love it. I mean, it, it's, okay, it's not that it's not good, but it's not broken. And in singles restricted, you need your restricted to be broken. But it's so fun to use. Yeah, if you look at like top sixteen of um NAIC, let's see. There's um okay, Cali Ice one, Terrapago second, uh, Calyrex Shadow fourth. I don't know what else is it. Uh, uh, Kyogre in fourth, I think. Um, there's an Overquill for some reason in top eight. <laughs> yes, Overquill was funny. And then past that, it's just Ice Rider and Shadow Rider. I love how, like, on Twitter, everyone was like, "Oh, look, there's Overquill in top eight. This is insane." And like. Two hours after that happened, Overkill immediately lost in top eight. Well, getting top eight in the first place is insane. Yeah, but there was like two hours of talking about Overkill, and then nobody could care about it again. Yeah, still, the Overkill was like a really good call for that team. I need yeah. someone to uh, to run um, a Fusion Bolt Zekrom alongside Fusion Flare Smeargle. <laughs> Uh, that, that, no one's oh gonna God. do that because Zekrom oh absolutely sucks. Other than that, that wouldn't work because you'd need Smeargle to be faster than Zekrom. <laughs> <laughs> max, speed, max speed Smeargle, min speed Zekrom, so... Choice Carp Smeargle. Simply get the correct moody boost. If we, <laughs> if we ever get a, um... 
Uh, if we ever get like two restricted back, I'm playing BGC and I am running. We're getting two back. I'm, when, I'm, when two restricted are back, I'm playing BGC like a, a, a lot. It, when two restricted come so back, fun. I'm I'm actually playing BGC and I'm running Fusion Player Fusion Vault tracks. Hell yeah! Uh, I tried that double one. Restricted I tried that in the regulation after this one. Yeah. I tried uh f the double fusion move in uh, in like the last month of Sword and Shield when I was like I, I had just found out about uh competitive and and, and, and like I was beating um the Pokeball tier first with uh, Pokeball tier one guys and I was ah this kid is good. Wait, so you're that you to competitive? Yes, I I no like, wonder. I I basically. No wonder I, I annihilated you so hard in Connie's league. Yeah, like, <laughs> I I genuinely was I, I was very very bad at uh, at competitive like that. I basically play I I basically played for one year because like before, uh, before Connie's league, I didn't even care that much. Like I I was, it's not that I didn't care, but I didn't really play, not even close to as much as as I do now. Like I basically, I basically played for been playing for like one year, and and that's that. I I'm really new to this thing. So you're telling me that <clears throat> I have played for way longer than you, and you are already a better player. Than you. Yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you. Limo. I mean, the I think the difference between. Uh, between a good um, uh, uh, a mid player, say, and then uh, you know, like a decent, a decent player and, and a, a good player, is not like inherent skill or it's just, uh, it's it's not even grinding. I think it's um about the the way you go about uh Pokemon. It, it's just like if you're trying to. It's basically just if you're trying to have fun, if you're trying to win. Because if you're trying to have fun, you're gonna you're gonna try to 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 make as good teams as you can. You're gonna try to make the best plays as you can. If you're trying to have fun, even if you do want to win, you're still gonna use the monster that you like using. Not necessarily the monster that you like because of design, but still the monster that you like using. You're gonna use the you're gonna make the plays that you like doing, I I instead of finding the ones that are actually the best. So I I think that's what separates. Like the two counts players, and chat one dead. Awkward silence. Yeah. Well, what what else is there to talk about though? We didn't have much to talk about this episode. Yeah, we kind of went in without a plan, just because we wanted to talk about the draft leagues. <laughs> everyone was like in, in the pod search. Everyone was like, "Oh, we can wait another week. That's fine." And I went, no, we need to talk about the draft league. We so, could like, just like. We Wait. could just end, like, now and have a beer shorter episode. Wait, so, like, if neither of us have, um, have built for the Domino Draft, are we gonna, like, take a few minutes to build or something? Hell yeah. <laughs> we we play for... Uh, to, do, you have the, the TDL team, right? You, you have it ready? Oh, yeah, I have that ready. Yeah, as soon as we stop recording... What we could do is play while we record. That's that's our That's our content. That would be hold funny. On, I gotta hold on. It's on my phone, and I want to send it to my. Yeah. Okay. In the meantime, uh, we can. Uh, so you were talking about uh Nike. I don't know why I say Nike. What? It's it's like wrong. You were talking about NAIC before. We haven't really. Oh, NAIC. We haven't really talked about that, have we? Yeah. No. Um. Well, let me let me look at the results real quick. Because we talked, we mentioned Overquill. I I remember there was still there was like another month that was surprising to find in top eight. I don't remember what month. Uh, was, uh Wo Chen. What? Beer Vita. It was Wo Chen. Oh, Wo Chen. That's right. He said okay, so uh, Patrick Connors won. Um, his only two other results were top sixty four at two regionals. Um. Then there was Aurelian Sola, uh, who got second. Then it was Eduardo Cunha using Calyrex, I, I mean Calyrex Shadow Rider with Smeagol. Uh, then there was Maraidon. Then there was Wo Chen Kyoga. The tech on this team was cool because the Wo Chen 
was faster than the Kyogre, which means that um, you can click Pollen Puff and then Water Spell. Um, oh, that's awesome. Ant- Antonio Sanchez, Liverpool Regional Champion, using Trapagos. Number seven was Justin Burns using Cali Ice. Um, eighth was Henry Rich using uh, Kyogre Overquill. Then if we scroll down, we can see at 12th, we, like, this was probably my favorite team from the event. At 12th, there was Alex Underhill with um, Calyrex Ice Electabuzz. Wait, Electabuzz? What does Electabuzz? Oh, yeah, no, Electabuzz. I, I, conf- uh, I, uh, I was confusing with another one. Electabuzz is cool, right? It gets uh, Evil Light Follow Me. That's about it. What, what, yeah, it was what Evil Light Follow Me with Volt Switch, um, Follow Me, Faint, and Taunt. And oh, because of faint. Vital Spirit, yeah, it, it got faint. But um, because of Vital Spirit uh, and Follow Me, you can redirect Spore away from Kali Eye and have yeah, it just really not cool. be, uh, not affect you. That's really cool, right? Because um, Among Us was like a really popular way to do with Trick Room. I guess how Kali yeah. Kali uh, Eye is uh, run Tar Grass for for that. What 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 Tar was this Kali Eye running? Uh, this one was Terra Fire. Yeah, so that allows you to not have to run Terra Grass, right? Yeah, a new version of the team has popped up recently, thanks to um, Jody Azzarelli, where it ditches the Smeagle, and it ditches the um, Electabuzz. The Electabuzz now becomes Iron Hands, because Iron Hands is insane. And um, the Smeagle now becomes Grimmsnarl. You can ditch the, t- the Terra Fire on the... Um, Calyrex Ice, that can now be Terra Water, because you no longer need the burn immunity, because this Grim Snarl has Misty Terrain. And that works in tandem with the swagger that um, Grim Snarl has, because you can self-swagger because of the Misty Terrain, you no longer have to deal with... Um, confusion, yeah. That's because really of Misty cool. Terrain, you no longer have to deal with the Confusion, um, and now you have a better defensive Terra. Yeah, we could talk about... Um... Iron Hands actually, because like that mon dropped off a cliff when his yeah. dinner and came out. <laughs> I and, thought and you that... were dead. I was. <laughs> yeah, like it, it dropped off a cliff when his dinner came out, and then it 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 just came back from the dead. He did what um, it, he did what uh King Gambit did. Basically, King Gambit w- it, it, like in the regulations, it was like regulation A insane, regulation B insane, regulation C insane, regulation D bad, regulation E and beyond pretty good. Iron Hands did that with the last regulation. Yeah, I think like it, this is uh, a product in both cases, right? It's a product of uh, how the resistance shaped the meta because uh, yeah, King Gambit is really good into um, Calyrex Shadow. While yeah, uh, Iron Hands is a good part is a good partner for uh, Miraidon. It's a good mar- partner for um, Miraidon. It's a good partner for Cali Ice. It's just, it's a good partner for Terrapagos. It's just a really good Pokemon. One thing that I saw is partnering with Coridon as well, because uh, this way your Ooh, fake Pokemon also deals with Pelipper. I mean, of of course, like that that's common, right? I, I wanted to just point out this the synergy there because Coridon yeah. is like, like the Coridon Pelipper matchup is really tough right hello this is Plummer yes the Coridon Pelipper matchup is comically bad however uh that is not why I am here you see they had troubles with discord so we're skipping a couple minutes ahead yeah we probably should end it here uh we could yeah I, this I, is a bit I, of a shorter I, episode I, I Okay, hold on. I I asked um I asked Plumber to to cut the the part where we we can't hear each other, so we can just kind of <laughs> can yeah. start. Yeah, this is a bit of a shorter episode. Uh, we didn't so, have much to talk about, but you know we had to get it out. Yeah, because we, we, we still start, like now. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think we're gonna have to 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 end it now. Like it's not like there was much we we we, we could talk about anyway at this point. So yeah. <laughs> Bye. You don't Bye. get you don't get uh you don't you don't get a one hour Bye, you don't guys. get a one hour ep- you don't get a one hour episode and you don't get a, a guest this time. Tough luck, huh? Yeah. Okay, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.